Well, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a data document for a Word mail merge. Now, a data document is basically the document that contains all of the names and addresses, all the information you want to use in the merge. And there are numerous ways you can set up a data document, but in this video, we're going to look at a couple ways. We're going to look at setting up a data document inside of Microsoft Word, and we're also going to see how to set up a data document inside of Microsoft Excel. First, we'll go ahead and look at Word. You can see I have just a blank document open here. I'm going to go ahead and open up an existing uh, data document. You can see I have one here called Word Address List. I'll go ahead and open that up, and you can see that a data document is just simply a blank document that you've inserted a table on and then added the information. So very easy to set up. I'm going to go ahead and close this and we're back at our blank document. So the first thing I, I need to do to set up this data document is to create a table with two rows and the number of columns equal to the number of fields I want to use in the mail merge. Well I want first name and last name, so that's two, address, city, state, and zip code, which brings this up to six columns. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the insert tab up here at the top and select table and you simply select the number of rows and the number of columns that you want and again I'm going to start off with a 6 by 2 table now this doesn't mean that you can't add more than one um, record it just means that you're going to add the rows as you enter in the information so a simple 6 by 2 table here now the first row in your table needs to be the names of the different fields that you're going to use so I'm going to go ahead and type first name here last name, address, city, state, and zip code. And you want to give Word a little bit of a hint as to the fact that that is the header row. So I'm simply going to highlight that row, come here to home and make them bold so they stand out and that'll give Word a clue that this isn't actually a record to be merged but it is the heading and then you just simply type in the names that you want. I can go ahead and do this. And notice that I didn't do any formatting of these uh, columns. You don't need to. If the content wraps, that's perfectly fine. Now when you in a table, when you get to the end of the table, if you hit the tab key on the keyboard once, you're going to see it inserts a new row for you. So I can continue to enter in information. And again, I'm not worried about formatting at all. All I'm doing is typing in the information. and I'll hit tab again and again that gives me a new row if you accidentally add a new row when you don't need it it won't hurt the mail merge at all but if you want to undo that you can just click on the undo button right there so there's the beginnings of a very simple uh, table that will be the data document for a, uh, a mail merge now you could set up a data document in Excel in exactly the same way I'm gonna go ahead and bring up Excel here and I've already opened up a sample data document and again you can see you know Excel this is just a table of information with the first row containing the field names and you just simply enter the information into that and save it and that's all there is to creating a data document for a word mail merge